Alright, hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Before we actually get started with episode 10 today, a lot of you guys suggested I should catch another Pokemon and add him to my team. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I actually went east of Eternus City all the way to the Patch of Grass in Route 211. And as most of you guys know, I only get one Pokemon per route. So the first Pokemon that I actually ran into in this route was a Hitmonchan, which is still really good. I really was hoping to run into a Fire-type Pokemon, but that wasn't the case. So I actually sent out my Boo, and I actually kept using Lick on it until uh, its health was dropped down to nothing it actually was a re it's a really really strong hit on Chan I'm really surprised it actually took that many hits from a level 22 uh, Haunter I used uh, two pokeballs on it and in the second attempt I actually caught it I had a little trouble coming up with a name for it just because I didn't really know what I wanted to name it but I ended up going with the name Wukong and I think it's pretty awesome so let's go ahead and begin episode 10 <laughs> Hey what's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the previous episode we took on Commander Jupiter and Team Galactic in their Team Galactic building and uh, we met with Pokemon Trainer Cynthia who actually gave us an egg. This egg I do not know if it's randomized or not, a lot of you guys have been asking that in the previous episode. I honestly am not entirely sure just because I am blind. Like you guys are, I have no idea what's going to happen in this game, so it could be randomized. If not, then uh, I already know what's going to be inside of the egg, just because I've seen multiple Let's Plays of this game, so I'm well aware of what's inside of the egg, if it's not randomized. So hopefully it is, because I'd like to see what cool Pokemon they'd want to add into this egg. It'd be really nice to see. So as most of you guys know, I did actually catch a Hitmonchan. I was really, really looking to run into a Flareon, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. Um, as most of you guys know, um, I only am allowed one Pokemon per route. So if it faints, if it flees, or if I catch it, then that's the only Pokemon I get in that route. But Hitmonchan's still really good. Um, if you actually look at his stats, um, he has really good attack and special defense, and he's only level 13, so I honestly cannot wait to train him, because I know he's going to be a great addition to our team. He knows Revenge, which is actually really good. It's actually su uh, super powerful on most Pokemon, so it's going to be awesome to teach him a lot of fighting-type moves. I honestly cannot wait to add him to our team. I nicknamed him Wukong. For those of you guys who know or actually play League of Legends, you know what Wukong stands, or what Wukong is. For those of you guys who don't, then you guys are just blindsided. Uh, but that's okay, League of Legends is a fun game, and uh, I honestly recommend you play it if you haven't. I think the bike path is this way. Uh, just so you guys are well aware, we're going to be fighting a lot of trainers today. Um, explore kit next to the Pokemon, alright. So we're going to be fighting a lot of trainers today, and uh, it's going to take up probably this entire episode. We're going to fast forward through the battles as usual, and hopefully we're going to train Wukong up. So I think we talked to this guy to get our explorer kit. Okay. I am. I am the first and have gone underground and dug some tunnels. You can call me the underground man. Everyone else calls me that. I'll make you a gift of this for you to use to deal up. Put it in your is good. And it is the explorer kit. Cool. So this is actually what we need in order to proceed on further. Uh, there's actually a ton of caves in this area. Or in the area that we're heading to. Um, what does he want? Suicide, lonely, some. All right, I have no idea. If it's something important, we'll probably come back. I probably should have read that dialogue, but eh, I really don't feel like reading today. It's one of those. Uh, oh, she doesn't even check us. To see if we have our explorer kit or not. That's cool. Oh, is this guy again? This is one of Professor Oak's. Uh, Professor Burr. Uh, fudge. Professor uh, Rowan's. Assistant, Sully, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. You're Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's. Fa what? He's Don's father. I come a long way to help you on your adventure as the professor's be behest. Uh, Sully, I want to ask you how many Pokemon have you met? Oh, you've met 67 Pokemon. Wonderful. Yes, bravo. Professor Rowan should be delighted. Here's something for you. I obtained the EXP share. This is something really, really convenient to have, especially when you catch Pokemon and you're further, like, you're uh, deeper into the game than uh, usual because it's going to be really, really hard to train Pokemon, but with the uh, experience share, you'll be able to train Pokemon with an ease. You just equip it to one Pokemon, and he shares experience points that you get. Um, so, I actually might do that right now. I might do that now as well as... Actually, do I want to do it? No, I don't. What I'm going to do is I'm going to train him the old-fashioned way, the way I've been doing it since the start, where we actually put like hit our a Pokemon up front, and then as soon as the battle begins, we switch him out. So, there's... There's going to be no problem with these battles just because I'm going to be speed running through them. Oh wow, if you actually let go of the, the, the analog stick, he continues to go down because it's a really deep slope. So we're going to go ahead and begin. All 
Alright, that wasn't really that bad. It still wasn't that great because Wukong didn't gain that much experience as I thought he would. So, let's just hope he continues to gain experience and he levels up soon. That one took a hit. Um, we actually lost a ton of HP on that battle. I'm gonna go ahead and heal him just just to be on the safe side. You know, you can never be. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Uh, so here we go, Aragon. Let's heal you up, buddy, with two potions. Now I know someone actually in the previous episode was really upset that I did have a Garchomp on my team. He's like, if you accept this challenge, you're gonna get rid of Garchomp. He's such a cheapo. I don't really see the reason why I'm gonna get why why would I get rid of him like. It's not worth it, to be honest. Alright, so I'm actually going to go also and heal once we exit from here. Oh, there's actually two separate paths. That's cool. Your bike will carry you a long way. The only thing that limits you is your own endurance. I think at this point Wukong is uh, strong enough to fight on his own, so we'll see how he handles himself. Alright, so I actually skipped both of these trainers because they were getting really redundant and I just really wanted to skip through them because I, I don't really like fighting trainers. They're not really... Uh, I don't know. They're really, really boring. So uh, let's go ahead and get some of these raspberries. Yummy, yummy. Put them in my bag. I need to actually go heal because uh, I'm running out of PP for uh, both Hitmonchan's Revenge and uh, Garchomp's Dragon Rage. That would definitely suck if I ran out of that. Uh, so if we actually slide down here, we will be here again, here in Orberg City! And I actually did use one of my heals here in the city, um, and then one more after the gym battle. Something someone actually pointed out was like, if you're healing elsewhere, what's the point of having the two heals per gym and then one more, or the two heals per city and then one more after gym battles? That's a very good question. Um, I never really specified because I really didn't know how many places there would be in this game where I could use heal and heal my Pokemon without actually having to resort to using the Pokemon Center. So, um, what I've decided to do actually, what I've ultimately decided to do was, um, just continue doing it the way I am and then in the future, like, if I ever do another Nuzlocke game, I will specify that it's only two heals per center and then no more elsewhere. Like, even if there's an opportunity for me to heal somewhere else, I can't use it. I only get the two heals per Pokemon Center. This is, like I said, however, my first Nuzlocke run. Um, and I'm not really that great at Pokemon. I don't really like to consider myself a Pokemon god. As most of you guys know, I'm not... I don't know everything. And a lot of you guys are always correcting me about this and that. So, um, apologize. I apologize for that, obviously. But my next Nuzlocke game will definitely be something really, really good. Oh, we ran into a Pokemon battle even though we had some repels on. Let's see who this is. A Swablu. Swablu! That is actually... I'd like to say that's a third gen Pokemon. But I'm probably wrong, so... Don't correct me because I really don't care. Let's get some of these rust berries. I'm gonna do, like, my next Pokemon game that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play a game that I'm really familiar with. Like I said, I'm not really familiar with, like, this generation of Pokemon, so I'm not really that great at it. I don't know my Pokemon, I don't know, like, the areas and what routes, and, like, where I'm, where I, I, I'd find this and that, so. That's also a thing. Let's get this Pokeball. I just kind of like, ex ooh, nice, super repel. We'll, we'll definitely use that once we run out of repels. I'm just kind of like exploring the areas. Wow, we have repels, and yet these stupid freaking Pokemon run into me. I'd catch this Ponita, but... Ah, oh, crap, I can't catch it now, because I mean... Oh, it's because I have Wukong up front. That's dumb. I'm going to put Aragon up front. We need to have him up front so uh, it doesn't do... So we don't run into stupid wild battles. Oh yeah, use that tail whip, girl. Uh huh. Tail whip it out. Let's use some. Let's use some of this. 
some of this bubble. I want to kill you. Aw, oh, yeah. Burst in your face. Nice. That's awesome. Super erective. I mean, effective. <laughs> I'm just joking. I, pur I, I purposely said erective, then effective. They have, like, these uh, Pokemon memes. It's funny. You should, like, there's a lot of Pokemon memes out there. Really popular Pokemon Twitter accounts. Uh, okay, so there's actually a cave here. What cave is this? This cave is Wayward Cave. This isn't the cave we're supposed to be at, so I'm definitely heading the wrong way. Wow, I am completely, completely in the wrong area. Uh, I think we're gonna go right. I'm always nervous every time I run in the grass without a rappel that I would that I'll run into like a, a legendary. I ran into Dialga the other day when I was training actually. It was pretty cool, like, I swear, I, I thought it was Arceus again, but I was like, nah, he's dead. I killed that dog. Oh, that sucks, though. Arceus is in a better place now. But if Arceus is gone, who's gonna stop Giratina? Oh, you wanna fight me, girl? Go for it! My Pokemon, I'll do the best! Oh, it's a double battle. Cool, cool, so both of you sister gangs are ganging up on me. That's nice of you two to do that. 76 experience points. Wow, that's really bad. If I only if I knew they were going to give me 76 experience points, I really wouldn't have went through the trouble of of switching all of them out. Please don't find me. Come on, dude. Holy shit, Banjo. All right, that sucks. No more potions left for me. I'm going to probably go back and buy once we make it to the next city. Use the rest of my potion sealing up these guys, because unfortunately I used up all my heals in this city, so I can't go back and heal, so... Eh. Hi, Sully, how's your Pokemon coming along? Me, I'm somewhere between fantastic and, uh, hopeless. But this isn't about me, I've got something nice for you. Sully, choose what hand you want. Uh... Ooh, this is, this is interesting. What hand do I want her to rub me with? Let's see, let's do the right. I see, so you want to be a seeker? No, what was... I don't want this stupid item. I wanted a different one. I, I'm pretty sure they were the boat. They were the, the same thing, maybe. I don't know, but the VS Seeker is something I didn't want because I mean, if you're gonna battle trainers, you've already battled before, so that's kind of dumb. All right. Whatevs. All right, that is it. Here we head to the next area, Route 207. So we will do that in the next episode. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you guys then. Peace.